Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to talk about soy building capacity in robot structural analysis. And uh, first I'm going to create a new project. And uh, you can click on this button or you can go to uh, design and provide it reinforcement of, of RC elements. And uh, you can click on new foundation button. So uh, now you can uh, change the size of the foundation and set the soy type and then find the uh, uh, soy building capacity. But uh, before we start, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button. And if you like this video, please put a thumb up as well. So uh, I will set uh, one meter for A and B and uh, for the thickness of the foundation 0 0.5 and this is one meter. So uh, now we have this foundation. Next you can go to uh, geometry, sorry, uh, geotechnical options and stress and you need to click on calculate it and OK. And then uh, you need to input the load. And next you uh, need to go to soy definition uh here in order to set the soy type so uh i will set this type and change this to 18 uh, let's say 30 and 10 and apply so uh, now you can run uh, the calculation. So if you go to foundation uh, node, you can uh, look down here. You will see the uh, soil bearing capacity uh, under the design soil pressure uh, uh, here. And uh, this is the uh, uh, calculation uh, uh, node. Uh, that you can uh, verify so uh, I wrote a small uh, calculation note in uh, a market here and uh, for the calculation in the robot structural analysis it used the formula from uh, Hansen and uh, this is the formula and you can uh, check the calculation note uh, to, in order to verify uh, the value here so I'm going to I'm going to input the same value so uh, we change this to one meter and this one as well and uh, this is 1.5 it's okay here and uh, we can check the coefficient uh, here for the load capacity so uh, you can verify with this uh, value and this is the inclination uh, factors the shape coefficient uh, you can check the value here so uh, everything is uh, good and you can check the result here which is the uh, allowable uh, uh, soy bearing capacity so the value is the same here so uh, if you want this uh, note, you can check the link in the description. I will leave uh, it there and uh, uh, don't forget to check them out. So uh, next I'm going to try another example. So uh, I will use the example in this book and uh, we can go to chapter uh, 6 and problems. And uh, I will use this example. So uh, this is the calculation note in uh, MATCAD. And uh, you will see the final result here. And uh, 
you can check the result in this uh, this book as well you can go to answer uh, to problems and uh, this is the result for the example uh, 6.9 so uh, the value here is not the same but it, it's close enough uh, because the uh, the formula that uh, I use here is not the same in this uh, in the book so uh, next I will change uh, the property of the soil in the program here so uh, I'm going to choose uh, let's say this one and I'm going to change the value uh, here and this one as well so uh, in this example we have the water uh, level at um, minus one uh, meter and uh, we need to go to foundation view and change this so uh, I will follow the value in the example that I, I show you and uh, next we can run the calculation so uh, now we can check the value here uh, we can compare the value uh, in this uh, node so uh, the value here is, is uh, close enough we can uh, check other uh, parameter as well Uh, with uh, this uh, value so uh, everything is uh, good now and uh, this is it for uh, this video and if you want to find uh, the reference uh, for this calculation you can look at the uh, official Autodesk uh, website uh, on the title of uh, load capacity of the soil and uh, this is the uh, uh, formula that uh, the program use so you can uh, check this out and i will leave the link of this website in the description as well so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much uh, for watching i'll see you guys in the next uh, video